Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in, I got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no sunshine. It's going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage um, today, my friends. What we all need to be doing in, if and when we go back out and buy real estate. And the reality is there's deals. I've always said this. Most people are going to be paralyzed by fear. Be fearful when others are greedy. A greedy when others are fearful. Well, there's fear, right? We can all agree fear is now definitely taking over the markets. It's all the Kool-Aid drinkers. They are a deer. In the headlights, and the majority of people drank the Kool-Aid. Only a select few. Most of the people that are here staying centered and surrounded with like-minded people were iron sharpened iron. A very small percentage are going to be not only financially fit enough to go buy in this type of environment, mentally, mentally fit enough to financially and mental, mentally fit it. So it's so important for us to continue. You know, I think a lot of times here on the channel, we do a lot, we say a lot of the things over and over. I've seen in the comments before where people are like, you just say the same thing over. At least I used to see that a lot, especially when it was when we were in the bubble era, the Kool-Aid drinking era, and I'm here like warning people that dust will settle. There will be blowback. We will pay the piper. This is a bubble. It cannot last. Historically, all bubbles pop. No, Scott, you're crazy. This is a great time to buy. You should buy some cryptos while you're at it. Whew. Insanity, this stuff. But today we're going to utilize a property. We're going to jump over to an area of the U.S. here. And we're going to examine this property because I think it's really important that, that we recondition our thinking. And that's why through repetition a lot of times. That's why we say a lot of things over here. to drive, For me personally, because I can only go off of personal experience. And I know many of you are the same way. Repetition is the only way we create a new habit. You have to create new healthy thinking habits right now. So there's nothing wrong with driving these points home through repetition. If that's what it takes to recondition ourselves, then so be it. But today is really an interesting one because we're going to look at a property. It's kind of twofold. A is what we should be doing right now. If you, somebody you know, somebody you love, anybody you want to help wants to go buy. And right now, because there's properties showing opportunity that this is a safe buy. There is many properties that are very unsafe, right? I'm going to help us look at the, the unsafe property. This one's kind of safe. And we're helping a lot of you right now. We're out there negotiating deals for you guys right now. Tons of you guys we're helping right now. Thank you that you put your trust in this channel because my job will always be to protect people. But the realities are investors now are stuck they we were worried that investors were going to come buy up all the homes scott in a foreclosure crap. no they're not they're the ones going into foreclosure themselves only a select few the last crash not very many people got to go buy it, the dip in that one not many people at all most people got hammered slaughtered or they're paralyzed by fear only a small percentage of you leave it in the comments below if you were able to buy Okay, jump in the comments if you want to see. Not a lot of people got lucky enough to muster the courage and the financial wherewithal to take a little calculated risk and go buy. You're never going to time the bottom. We don't have to anymore because today I'm going to show you what you can do in order to protect yourself. So today to drive our point home and use this property as an example, let's jump over, check it out, and then we're going to meet back here to wrap it up. Let's get started. All right, friends, buckle up, strap in, roll up your windows, and lock your doors, and don't break the speed limit as we're heading over to today's featured property. Today, we're in Louisiana, the great state of Louisiana, and the city of Shreveport. We're going to go ahead and take a look at a little property today so we can get educated and learn a little bit more about what to look for anytime we're looking at property, no matter what the situation is. Let's go ahead and bring up our crash map, courtesy of our friends over at Zillow. Everything on your screen is going through price reductions. Now let's jump on to today's featured property. Just take a quick look around. Single family home, clean, empty, a little dated, not a FOMO factory, insulated from bubble buyers. This one looks pretty good. Now let's see how it pencils out. Our mid-range value currently is $215,000 range. It's listed at... 220000 currently after going through its first $10,000 price drop. And what we like about that, it shows motivation. They have not pulled the listing. The property is empty. It's sucking air, 
but it's clean, unoccupied. And if everything checks out, it could be a good one. Now, let's look a little further. If we were to give them their $220,000 asking price, our estimated cost to own would be twelve dollars to $1,300 a month. Our estimated rent range would be around $1,700 a month, about a $500 a month cash flow. This is good. We like this. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. So there you go. There is a property that you could buy today, even at their current list price, and it's rent range versus cost to own, even if it's not a rental for you. This is your first time home, and I love this home on many levels. For one, it's clean, it's empty. I don't have to worry about getting tenants out. It's sucking air, meaning I could probably get an offer to stick. I don't have, they're, they're showing motivation to get off the market. If you got an empty house going through price reductions, I like that. If you got a house that's not in a FOMO factory, insulated existing construction that's an established neighborhood, I like that. When you got a house like this that's basically clean enough to eat off the floor, maybe just needs a little updates with paints and color schemes, love. I mean, love that. But more than any of that, if this was my home and I just wanted to live in it, which isn't a bad idea, I would say, great, even at today's price, this property would, if I ever needed it to, it would rent out for more than my payment, significantly more, with a buffer involved. In fact, even a cash-flowing investment property, in fact, if this was my kids I was helping, or your kids, or anybody's kids, they're trying to buy a house, I say, stay away from the FOMO factory, existing construction. This one, your payment would be under what it is cheaper to own than to rent with this property. Let's live in it for a year or two. And then let's let's jump out and stick a renter in there, save up some more money. We're going to go do that again and again. If you just did every two years, jumped in a house and then turned it into a rental, within 10 years, there's a good chance you're quitting your job. You're now owner of real estate. Can you imagine that? Five single family homes, two, three, four, five. But most people don't think like that. They suffer from what I just saw in an enormous amount of FOMO, herd mentality, Kool Aid drinking, overpaying for real estate under the guise. It was a full guise of interest rates are low interest rates are low it's a great you're so we're so easily led with herd mentality now the majority of the people that bought in the height over 10 million of them are going upside down their purchases with buyer's remorse can you imagine i i remember the buyer's remorse i had it wasn't even a fraction of what i see the buyer's remorse now being suffered by millions of americans across the nation that was the biggest buyer's remorse situation ever 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 and final thoughts i come to you as a friend as a content creator somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate win in life understanding there are properties out there right now that you can look at the way we looked at today it doesn't take a rocket scientist what it will take is an agent it's going to take a good agent that's not that's still in the business if you can find them that's where i come in the biggest network of top-rated agents all over the nation, the biggest network in the world of top-rated agents available to you. It will take a good agent, and there's no such thing as a perfect agent. I said a good agent, not a perfect agent, a good agent. That's all it's needed because you, at the end of the day, are the one that has to make the final choice. And when so I want you guys to look at properties I want you to examine at today's price, what's my cost to own versus cost to rent. That is all. You don't need to get into the data. You don't need to get in the tea leaves. You don't need to get in the economic charts. You don't need to get in the bond yield curves. You don't need to get CPI. You don't need to get into any of that, in my opinion. Because then you're just going to be uh, paralyzed, stuck on the sideline, or reading charts all day. You're never going to make this thing work. There's only one thing you have to look at and understand. The path to wealth will be in real estate. 90% of all millionaires made their money in real estate. It is the path to wealth. And more importantly, free time. 
where maybe if you do a little work with an agent on your team, a long-term, first house, second house, third house, fourth house, 10 years later, you own a handful of properties cash flowing, a cash register every month where you're like, you know what? Maybe I'll retire early. Maybe I'll retire early. So that's what I really want to see for you, get from you guys. And I just don't see the investors obviously aren't out snapping these things up because they are in crisis mode themselves. In fact, they're the ones that are probably going to contribute to more deals like they want, the ones we saw today coming to market even further as we move forward throughout the year. Stay tuned as I continue to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links in the description if you'd like to contact me there. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video that's coming into your screen. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate here in America, email in the description for you as well. Biggest network, top rated agents, nation, ready to assist Thank you. Thank you so much. And as always, please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.